2011. And Derrick Rose gives the Knicks the 2 0 lead. Yeah, nice shaking and baking to get into the paint for Rose. Rose on the follow. Rose, very offensive line, and made his first shot, then put up an air ball, and then you saw the tenacity there to finish off the missed shot as well. Here's Rose into the paint. Rose just a maestro at improvising off the dribble. So most of his points have come in the paint thus far. Rose gets tripped up. Rose been uh, kind of out of control. It's very unbridled. The first half here is Lance Thomas hitting a three. Here's Rose on the scoop. He uses all of last season. Here's Derek Rose over town. Rose uncanny with that running one-handed shot. Takes it inside and then throws it back out. Rose with five on the 24 hits. Vintage Rose right now. Dancing and prancing on the perimeter. Now Rose underneath to O'Quinn. The hesitation and the slam. And a timeout called by the Timberwolves as Courtney Lee and spinning inside. And he lays it in. Swirling Dervish. Oohs and ahs from the crowd as he swooped the news. Next lead by 11. Five minutes in, third quarter. Levine off the mark from three. And Anthony nails a three. Nothing more devastating. Here's Holiday. Hits a three and he hits the floor. Should have been a foul on Levine. Here's Anthony over Wiggins. Mello, 5 of 16, the previous game. Here's Rose over Aldrich. Yes, the Knicks bench outscored the Timberwolves bench 43 to 5 on Wednesday as Rose draws a foul. Here's Rose driving on Dunn. And Rose gets the roll. A defiant Rose that time. Here's Rose, picks up the dribble, fires over Dunn, and nails it. We've seen the best of Rose tonight. His one-on-one -on -one moves mesmerizing. So, so let's take a look at the last two baskets. Vintage Rose rising and surprising him in the paint. Rose dancing. <laughs> and he draws the foul on Jang. And it is chased down by Rose. And then he is fouled with 31 seconds on the clock. And now they